Let's make a banner for your YouTube channel. What's up guys, TJ here with another TJ tutorial video. If you like these types of videos, please like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Also hit that bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I release new content. So today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to create a banner for your YouTube channel. Now you can pay to have someone make your uh, banner for you, but I'm gonna show you a very simple and easy kind of way to do it is, you know, you can make one in about five minutes if you have a concept or you can just go in there and just be creative whenever you do it. I always, I always have like some kind of idea of what I want and I just kind of craft it or whatever. So we're gonna go to the computer screen. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Let's go. All right guys, so to start out, the first thing I wanna tell you is that, and you need to write this number down, the size for a YouTube banner is gonna be 2560 by 1440 pixels so that's going to be the actual size of your banner now I'm, I'm going to show you this real quick what my banner looks like to see all right so as you can see here this is my banner and it looks different on each uh, device let me see if I can show you what it looks like on each device it's not going to show you but anyway here you go this is the the size 2560 by 1440 and the maximum file size is six megabytes and this they just want the picture to be large enough so they can change it for like uh, cell phone devices or televisions and plus so you can have a good quality background image so what i did with mine and this is what i always do is i think about you know layering your pictures and things, your elements that you want in it. So have a general idea uh, kind of what you want. Uh, so what I did here is I'm, we'll go to pickmonkey.com. And if you've seen in my other videos, I've used pickmonkey.com for like everything, <laughs> photo related anyway. And I do have Photoshop, but this is a good free way to do it. Pickmonkey.com, you can use it for free. There are some other things that you can use on Pickmonkey where you will actually have to pay for it. Uh, but for today, we're just gonna go stick with the free. So the first thing you need to do is click on resize and you're gonna go ahead and change the size to what you need, 2560 by 1440. All right, so this is your banner size. Now let me show you the difference. So this is just like what I call a little sliver of this right here so what you want to do is make sure that whatever images if you were to have images or text in there you want to be located in this region right here so let's find a background i did a cool uh wooden background so let me see wood background image and you can just do a quick search and you can find all kind of bullet background images or you can type in um, cool background images and choose something from here or if you have a food channel you can say food background image and have different uh, food things so let's go back to the wood because I like wood backgrounds they're cool looking kind of like this so as you can see this is a photo that is not you're probably not going to be able to use it because it does have a uh, what's the things called so let's choose another one alright so this right here is kind of cool so what you do is this is google search and you click on view image and what I do is I just uh, download it. So we'll go ahead and download it in the large. I don't want something that's free. Let's see how this looks. We're going to download this and see what it looks like. That may be big enough. We'll try that. Let's try that. So we'll go back to Pick Monkey, 
and we're going to open our image just to see if the size is what we need. Go ahead and change the size again. So it's not that bad. You're not really losing that much resolution by making it that much bigger. So this is going to be the essence of your background. Um, and so what I did was I had these little elements and I'm going to try to pull them up over here so you can see them. Okay, so I made these little elements uh, on Photoshop and I'm going to do a separate video showing you how to make uh, different little elements like this. So what I essentially did was I got this uh, cut out of a a photograph or a Polaroid and it had a clear background so you put a photo in there you can layer it you kind of got this cool piece of tape up here at the top and I think it's pretty cool so what I'm going to do is on pick monkey you go over here to overlay so that's the butterfly you click on that and you click on add your own from my computer and now we have to find it again <laughs> all right there we go and I always name anything that I do that's kind of creative. I name creatives. And with PicMonkey, you can use grid so you can make sure everything is in alignment. So I normally do the smaller grid. And we want to snap the grid. So this is give you cool lines so you can see actually what you're doing. So that right there is going to be essentially the absolute center. You know my whole picture right here this is going to be the absolute center so we'll put it there for now i believe we're going to have to move it down some but we'll we'll see here in a minute so we'll put that there and maybe you want to put generally if you look at the thumbnail box you have like this little square or rectangular box here for your links and you may want to put something there i'm going to show you how to do that if i can find it so you go over here to overlays where we're already at and you can click on these cool overlays and you can choose any one of these overlays. They have hearts and uh, what else? Stars and spiral graphs and symbols and now you have to pay, well no, not pay for these. The ones that have like the little uh, crown or tiara, those are the ones you actually have to pay for. So you use any of these other ones for free. So what we'll do is, I just like doing something simple. We'll add an overlay. Oh, we'll add an overlay here, and that's going to be about here, maybe. And maybe you want to do something like that. That way, those uh, links kind of stand out. All right, and so maybe you want to go in and put your name on here. So we'll do another overlay. And normally, generally, what I do with my overlay, so you see how that's uh, solid black. I'll go right here to fade. And you can fade it out a little bit. Maybe you can change the color of it so it can match more with the uh, the background there. So we'll do like a gray. It's kind of cool looking. I always try to center everything. You don't really have to go that far in terms of center and stuff, but that's just me. Now, as you if, as you notice, this right here. This little overlay is on top of these photographs. So we kind of want that to be behind the photographs. So this is all your layers and we'll just send that to the back and boom, now you have that on top. Now you can move that up or down however you need it. Now your name, I mean, you can do whatever you want to in terms of being creative, but I already had this laid out in terms of what I want it to be. Now your icon or your avatar is going to be right here in the top left hand corner. And your link's going to be in the bottom right hand corner, but the rest of the real estate you can use for whatever else you have. So we'll go over here to text. And we'll type in whatever you want it to be. DJ the lady, that's my name. And any of these fonts you can use as long as they don't have the crown icon on them. And if they, you can get, I mean, I recommend if you're going to be uh, making a lot of thumbnails and things like that, I recommend go ahead and, and paying for the seven, I think it's $7.99 a month for uh, PicMonkey, unless you have Photoshop and you're really good at it. Photoshop, 
to me is a little overcomplicated for doing these quick things, you know. So let's see, I kind of like that squiggly text. If squiggly was even a word. <laughs> All right, so this is the thing about PicMonkey. So if you're trying to enlarge text, you can go over here to size and it'll make it bigger, or you can get it where you need it to be and just do this, and that'll make it larger. So we'll put that towards the middle. That's kind of cool looking. It kind of looks like you wrote on there with like a marker or something. Now you can, if you had the pro or the uh, paid version of PicMonkey, you can go over here to effects and you can add cool things like a drop shadow, uh, maybe you want to change that to a different, you know, color. Just to make it stand out a little more, you can move the distance of it. You can add fade. Uh, you can increase the intensity. You can do the horizontal blur. Um, you know, there's a lot of different things you can do with text and, and other different things within PicMonkey. I'm going to leave a link to PicMonkey down in the description section below. And you can sign up if you want to, or you can use the free version. All right, so now we have our thumbnail. What do we need to do with it? Now you can add any other elements that you want to. If you have like an element, um, let me show you this. A lot of people don't know this, but if you're looking for something like a uh, social media background or something like that, just type in whatever you want. So You just do whatever it is that you want and then PNG. And normally a PNG file is going to have a transparent uh, background. So let me, if you know anything about, you know, Photoshop or anything, if you see this checkered background, that means the background of this image is going to be uh, invisible. So we'll click on that and I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so you go back over to PicMonkey, you can go to Overlays, you go to Add Your Own, My Computer, Pictures, and what was it? It was Instagram, Logo, and you see what I'm saying about it being, having a transparent background. If you want to add, you know, if you, you're big on Instagram or Twitter or whatever, you can do, you know, an Instagram logo here and then put at your name. Uh, and so that will be displayed every time that you do your channel art. Now let me show you really quick what I'm talking about, maybe moving things down. So we'll go to ex export. And when you export, you want to make sure that you choose the right thing. So they give you three different quality options. I know I'm just stick with this middle one right here is fine. This is going to tell you what the dimensions are going to be. And you go ahead and export to your computer. I'll put it in pictures here. Hold on. I'll do that. Change the name of it. <clears throat> Alright, let's go over here and I'll show you what this looks like. And you may have to move it based on the you know the location of it. So where's that? There it is. Alright, so this shows you what it's gonna look like. That's what it's gonna look like on desktop. That's what it's going to look like on the TV, and that's what it's going to look like on mobile. And you can adjust the crop on here, but the, the problem you're going to run into is if everything is uh, large and not right here in the center, you won't be able to see it. So you see this little bit of square? That's actually where your photos or elements is going to be. So if you just had your name in here, it probably would be fine, but you know, I got to be fancy and have all those. <laughs> so. That's a good thing about this is because we're still in edit mode. So what we can do is we know where we're trying to shoot for. We can make that way smaller. We can move that up. We can make this way smaller. We can move it down. It's still going to be behind it. We can make that smaller. And that's still going to be behind it. And we can put this on here and we can make that smaller. It's too small. If you want to add that on there, you go to export, export to computer, save. We're going to go ahead and we're not going to replace it because I think that's my shape, something like that. And we'll go back over here and we'll edit channel art and we'll go back and find our photograph again because I always strive for perfection. <laughs> 
Uh, it wasn't that one. It was another one. There it is. Let's see what that looks like. Boom. That's way better. So as you can see, everything that we've included is inside the uh, barrier here. It looks cool there. It looks cool there. Let's go ahead and select it, and I'll change it back. I mean, that ain't that bad. All right, so see, we've made our banner here. We have our elements. You can make them. You can tweak this more. You can add elements over here, over here. Um, and that's pretty much how you do it. Now, I'm going to show you some examples of a couple of other ones that I've created. All right, one more that I created. This is my other channel. This is the other one that I created. I was able to make it look like I was kind of peeping over like, what's that guy's name on uh, <laughs> Tool Man Taylor? The guy that lived next door that used to peep over the fence. That's kind of what that I was going for with this. <laughs> uh, but that's pretty much it. If you have any questions about anything that I talk about in any of my videos, you can always go to my website. It's www.tjlovelady.com. And I believe if you're on a mobile device, you can go down in the bottom right hand corner. There'll be like a little chat icon. You can click on that. You can send me a message and I will respond. Hopefully instantly because it comes straight to my cell phone. And I appreciate you guys for watching. Thanks. Uh